so uh, we have laminated and uh, applied the decals on uh, both the left and the right sections of the wing now we are going to cut out the mark out the ailerons the ailerons will be marked out from the root side uh, the, the ailerons will start at 12 centimeters and the ailerons would be 4 centimeters uh, broad so we'll uh, mark a line 4 centimeters here and uh, using a straight edge we'll also mark 4 here and using a straight edge be very sure this should be the straight edge should be parallel to the trailing edge parallel. and then we will uh, draw a straight line across the decal so uh, our aileron is again 4 cm broad and it starts 12 cm from the point now we are going to cut this out cut it out using a sharp knife in two passes And the last pass Okay And now we will cut this side out cut all the way through to the other side this is very important so oh, looks like the lamination is not cut off so we will just go through and cut this side Still not cut off. Almost there. One more pass. Clean the knife. Okay, so our aileron is now cut off and now the next step we are going to do is bevel the ailerons. So we will create a bevel by uh, cutting, uh, by first cutting off the tape uh, a little bit from this side and we will uh, bevel off in this way so that the aileron can move down. We are going to create a hinge uh, line from the top. So let's, uh, let's uh, cut off uh, the bottom line bottom tape by a little bit approximately uh, one centimeter along the entire length we'll cut off using a sharp knife very gently so you don't actually cut the aileron just the lamination Okay, so we have taken this uh, out 
and now we will uh, sand this bevel and we'll uh, that that will uh, uh, finish off the aileron and we'll then hinge it out let's sand this Forty-five degrees bevel uh, approximately has to be created. Take the time. Do not uh, and make sure you do not sand the top edge. Only the bottom edge has to be sanded till it becomes at a forty-five degree angle. We need lots of throw for the expert ring. So let's finish the sanding and we'll be back uh, in a couple of minutes and then we'll uh, create the winching we'll this uh, out. So uh, we are done with uh, doing the beveling. You can see how we have created approximately a 45 degree bevel here and this bevel will um, allow the aileron to move fully down. Uh, this much is how it should go down and up of course can go as much but uh, you have to create a bevel evenly so the whole aileron can uh, go down and the hinge will be created by uh, taping the top side and uh, so I'll let Pawan uh, do the hinging procedure while I'll tell you how it is done. So uh, we, we start the hinging procedure by uh, tightly holding the aileron to uh, flush with the wing top and we will tape using three small pieces of tape while the aileron is held at a full down position. Yeah, we will uh, tape in uh, center, one on the uh, right side and one on the extreme left side. This is to basically ensure the uh, aileron doesn't move when we uh, do the final hinge. So you have to hold this very tightly uh, so there is no slop and at a full down position. Okay and the third will be So we have created, we have taped it in three places. Now what we will do is, we will apply tape on along the foot edge of the, starting with the root. And while you hold the aileron at a down position, half tape on the wing and half tape on the aileron. We will uh, mark a small cut here uh, where okay. We will cut a little uh, bit of material from here so the aileron can move freely so the aileron will now move very freely 
what we will do now is we will tape it here using very small piece of tape small piece and then we will glue this side the back end of the hinge in fact we can just i'll just hold it and uh, you can glue the back end the most important thing is that you have to stretch the tape keep this very tight keep this very tight as you tape it out Okay, so you can see that we have taped across the entire edge, rear edge. Now we'll fold this back, and uh, our aileron is we have finished the hinging process of this thing. Now we'll repeat the same procedure for the right wing panel, and then we'll get back with the video and uh, uh, go ahead and install the servos. So. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes after we hinge this up. So uh, both our uh, wing panels are now hinged and we are uh, going to install the servo. So the servo will be installed on the uh, back side of the wing uh, 40, uh, 40 centimeters from the root. So this is 40 centimeters and we will uh, mark a point here uh, and mark a point here and uh, we will uh, use the servo and the supplied extension wire. So if you have bought the VT all-rounder with the electronics package, you would be getting these extension wires uh, which you can uh, put on to the servo. So we are going to install the servo here and route the wires so that they go through this uh, channel which is cut in and uh, the necessary control horn will be installed here and uh, control uh, arm will be uh, mounted here. So we will center the servo and cut out a, a notch here uh, behind just behind this line and, uh, do, and uh, get this up. So uh, the first step is to center the servo. Okay, the servo is centered, we will put on the control horn. at 90 degrees perpendicular to the servo and now you screw this out and create a cutout and install the control horn and uh, cut the control rods. I'll let uh, Pawan uh, install this and then we'll uh, see uh, So when you install, when you create the cutout for the servo, uh, you have to make sure that it should not go over the spar because if it goes, if the cutout goes over the spar, then uh, the uh, you, you will not be able to push the servo through to the other side.
we'll be routing the wires through this uh, uh, servo cutout here. So, so as after uh, this is cut out, we'll uh, cut this line here and route the wires. I think the servo is snugly fit and I can go and cut. So what we will do is that we will put the aluminium spar and then put this in place so that uh, so that it goes in all the way and where the extension uh, plug comes in we will uh, create a small cutout here so that this uh, fits in. You can also fit this in vertically. Don't create a cutout like this. Uh, create a small cutout and this will go vertically in. Or use a knife to create a cutout here. And uh, one second. We will also create a cutout here so that the wire goes all the way from inside. And we'll create a cut here so that the wire goes from the servo bay, servo cut out to the ridge easily on the side. Then this will all we need to move forward. Okay. So the servo is now all set. Now we we'll do some hot glue to lock in place and install the control horn and uh, rod. You can uh, pack this uh, servo with some clear tape before uh, you hot glue. Uh, so that will allow you to later on take the servo out easily. Just wrap the servo with a little bit of clear tape. So this is very helpful when you, if you want to change the servo uh, later on, uh, your wing and servo will not be damaged and will let you easily pull the servo out. Use the hot glue to glue this in place now. Just okay.
Yeah. Then clean, clean. So we have just glued the servo and uh, now going in to install the control horn and uh, push rod. So a straight line will be uh, drawn from the second outermost hole on the servo perpendicular to the hinge line and we will mark it with a small line and uh, that will help in aligning the aligning the control horn here. So control horn will go in uh, right on this line and so the holes are right on the hinge line. So cut this out. The horn goes all the way through to the other side where the base, the other half of the horn will be uh, hot glued later on. So we will come to that now, we have to uh, make the push rod. So install the clevis on one side first. We can use a small piece. So we'll put some hot glue on the clevis. If the supplied push rod is tight, you can use a small drill to ex expand the hole on the clevis. Or uh, you can thread. So we have just taped this edge of the aileron. So this can remain in the neutral position while we install this second uh, clevis. We are going to hot glue this clevis. Trim this off so that trim the rod off so that the clevis can be installed. It should be further trimmed. The rod will come to here. Put some hot glue on this and uh, slide it in place and then we'll repeat the same thing the whole procedure for the other wing panel wrap it very nicely with hot glue and always test it out wipe the glue so that it covers the entire push rod this is very important and then lock the pin and uh, this completes the uh, expert wing single panel now we'll repeat the aileron mounting uh, the servo mount and the linkage procedure for the other wing and then we'll get back with joining the wing panels in a few minutes <laughs>